th I think the most difficult thing in a way is that there's actually so little that's known about Neil. Neil was such a private individual, even though he was so famous, he kept his his his. Uh, he kept his emotions so in check. So I think Ryan and I and, and the rest of the team, we had to go that extra mile to work with uh, his family, who were so generous with us, uh, his kids, Rick and Mark, his wife, Janet, um, uh, his biographer, Jim Hansen, whose book we were basing the movie on. So, I mean, we had a lot of support, but the challenge was to try to get under the surface. I think there's often that thing that behind every man there's a, a strong woman, uh, which I sort of think, you know, is a cliche for a reason. Um, and I think that... Janet was working very hard in a very different way. She didn't go to space and she didn't land on the moon, but if she had, she would have been an amazing astronaut. Um, and she did something which was, um, she brought up her sons and they're two beautiful, amazing, well-rounded, strong men. So she did a great job. Elliot was the only other civilian uh, brought into the program, the, um, the Gemini program. Uh, they called them the new nine. They were nine astronauts. Uh, most of the other guys, the seven other guys were from the Navy or the Air Force, and Neil and Elliot were civilians. And, um, and so I think they form a, a bit of a bond there. Also, Elliot is not this sort of brash and outwardly uh, masculine and energetic presence that the rest of the guys are. I think he and Neil are both pretty cerebral and quiet, withheld, and um, I think they appreciate each other for that. And certainly that's what we tried to get across in the film. There's nothing better than taking something that you think you know and pulling back the veil and saying, well, let's take a look under the hood and see all of the nuts and bolts, in this case, figurative and literal, uh, of what this program was, the NASA program, how it worked, but in particular, who this man was, who Neil Armstrong was, and how he uh, evolved into the person that became that man that stepped on the moon. So. Uh, the presumption of, of, of what we know is like, yeah, I remember that. I know I know that a man landed on the moon. What do we really know about him? And to explore that and to kind of shine a light on that, it's, it's a really beautiful endeavor. I think we take a much more personal approach. I think we're trying to get underneath the myth and underneath the legend of NASA in the 1960s. Uh, I think um, that legend has been sugar-coated a little bit. I think NASA worked very hard to try to make us not see how hard it was to not see the losses, to not see the pain and the failure, uh, to make it seem easy. And I think that's done us a bit of a disservice. I think looking towards the future, you know, we need to know how hard it is to reach these goals. And I think by looking at it through the eyes of Neil, we see that. I think Neil is a guy who, and I had not known this at all, uh, who had tremendous uh, loss and sacrifice and tragedy in his life.